potatoes were all in this area here and I dug them up sometime in July and I knew because I knew that the potatoes were going to come out of here I wanted the melons and the squash because I have my cantaloupe my Sharon Tay style cantaloupe and also my watermelons I knew that they really like to spread out and I knew that this little area here which is you know it's about a 10 foot wide by 7 feet deep area excluding this potato bed so I knew that if I could come in here and actually take out these potatoes sometime in July these plants that love to spread and sprawl along the ground would be perfectly suited for this area because they're eventually going to just come right in here and take up this this area which has access to a lot of sun and it's worked out beautifully I got my potato harvest and then of course these melons have sprawled out in here and they're growing beautiful I've got all kinds of melons in here forming even underneath the corn this three sister style garden is fantastic with the corn above the melons uh, below and then also the Hadassah shield beans which are climbing up the stalks of corn so on this side of the yard here guys in this side of the summer garden we actually have some volunteer tomatoes uh, that are doing fantastic believe it or not even coming from volunteer from seed they're filled with tomatoes um, so surprised so happy with that we've also got the um, the peppers the eggplants over here the ground cherries the basil and then of course my larger tomatoes that are now actually nine almost ten feet tall at the top of those poles and those are loaded those tomatoes I'll show you those in a, in a little bit but the peppers are insane the peppers have got tons of production on them this is a Jimmy Nardello that's turning red right now planted from seed as all of these plants here were planted from seed um, direct seeded them right into this raised bed over top of uh, over top of them was a, a low tunnel some plastic you can see this white hoop so that's what that was for and these plants, as a result, got off to a great head start. We even got some eggplant here. I'm gonna harvest one of these ping tong eggplants. You can see how beautiful these guys are. And a little another tip here in the kitchen is that these make the best eggplant fries. They're nice, long and slender eggplants. So what you can do is actually come in here and make these vertical slices on them and cut them into fries. Um, and then put some olive oil on them in a pan, and some salt, put them in the oven, and they come out beautifully. They're so good, it's incredible. So eggplant has become one of my favorite vegetables. I almost like the uh, eggplant fries as much as potato fries. But the peppers are really close now, even from seed. The Jimmy Nardellos just produce so much fruit. This guy here doesn't seem all that productive, but I would say all the Jimmy Nardello plants that you see in here, there's about one, two, three, four Jimmy Nardello plants. They all have about six peppers on them right now. We're not even in August yet. So that's really awesome, really impressive. I've gotten about eight or nine eggplants so far from the, uh, the Ping Tong variety. And if I bring you guys over to where the ground cherries are, you'll see that the ground cherries are now starting to drop their berries and they're in these little husks and what I like to do as you let them fall to the ground they should actually on the inside turn orange so I don't want to eat these just yet but you can see they're a yellowish green color right now we'll wait till these guys turn orange a bit I can harvest them I can leave them on the ground whatever I want this one's more green than the other two but once they turn uh, orange, I can eat these or make them in the gym, even make them into raisins. They're quite good. I know uh, people love them, and I actually am trying an interesting variety this year.